Released in 1949, A Letter to Three Wives is a classic film that weaves a captivating tale of love, friendship, and unexpected twists. Directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, the movie revolves around three women who receive a letter from a friend revealing that she has run away with one of their husbands. As you watch, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions, with moments that will leave you laughing, shocked, and maybe even a little teary eyed. Ever wondered if you have a cherished memory tied to this movie? Or perhaps there are lesser known facts and anecdotes that pique your interest. Stick around because we've got plenty of funny, shocking, and sad tidbits to share. As you delve into the world of A Letter to Three Wives, think about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the film. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. After all, sharing is what makes the movie watching experience even more enjoyable. Get ready for a journey filled with unexpected turns, and remember there's much more to discover about A Letter to Three Wives. Keep watching for those funny, shocking, and sad facts that will keep you hooked until the end. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic film? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. A Letter to Three Wives, released in 1949, directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, has left an enduring impact on the world of cinema, solidifying its place as a timeless classic. The movie revolves around three women who receive a letter from a friend informing them that she has run away with one of their husbands. As they reflect on their marriages, the narrative unfolds, revealing the complexities and nuances of these relationships. The film's impact lies in its insightful exploration of marriage and human relationships. Mankiewicz skillfully weaves a tale that delves into the intricacies of love, jealousy, and insecurity within the context of marriage. The characters are portrayed with depth and authenticity, making them relatable to audiences across generations. The film's ability to capture the emotional complexities of married life contributes to its lasting legacy. What sets this movie apart is its narrative structure. The use of a letter as a storytelling device adds a layer of suspense and intrigue, keeping the audience engaged throughout. Mankiewicz's directorial prowess is evident in the seamless integration of flashbacks and present-day scenes, creating a cohesive and compelling narrative. The legacy of the film extends beyond its initial release. It remains relevant today due to its timeless exploration of human emotions and relationships. The themes of trust, betrayal, and self-discovery are universal, allowing contemporary audiences to connect with the central narrative. The portrayal of strong, independent female characters also adds to its relevance in the context of evolving gender dynamics. The movie's impact on popular culture can be seen in its influence on subsequent films and television shows that explore similar themes. Its enduring popularity is a testament to its ability to resonate with audiences across different eras, making it a classic that stands the test of time. In conclusion, this cinematic gem continues to captivate audiences with its insightful portrayal of marriage and relationships. Joseph L. Mankiewicz's storytelling prowess and the film's timeless themes contribute to its enduring legacy, ensuring its relevance in the world of cinema. The exploration of human emotions and the use of a unique narrative structure make it a classic that remains as impactful today as it was in 1949. A Letter to Three Wives, a film adapted from a novel featuring five wives, originally titled A Letter to Four Wives, underwent notable changes during production. Two wives, Martha and Geraldine, were excluded from the final cut. Martha's storyline revolved around disagreements with her husband regarding child rearing, while Geraldine struggled with her unsuccessful singing career, consuming both time and money. The decision to reduce the number of wives from four to three came from studio chief Daryl F. Zanuck, who found the initial screenplay too lengthy. When asked how to shorten it, Zanuck straightforwardly suggested removing one wife. Ann Baxter, initially set to portray the fourth wife, had her segment axed as Zanuck considered it weaker than the other three. This film made cinematic history by being the first to win Best Director at both the Academy Awards and the Directors Guild of America Awards, these accolades highlight the directorial prowess of Joseph L. Mankiewicz, cementing the film's place in cinema history. In summary, A Letter to Three Wives underwent changes in its adaptation from the novel, cutting two wives, and ultimately earning director Mankiewicz prestigious awards. These alterations shaped the film into the classic. It is today a testament to the straightforward narrative and skilled direction. 
Among the films considered for the top 100 greatest American movies, A Letter to Three Wives secured a spot on the American Film Institute's 1998 list, acknowledging its enduring impact. Notably, it marked the debut of esteemed stage actor Paul Douglas in the realm of credited feature films. Adding to the intrigue, Celeste Holm, who provided the voiceover for Annie Ross, remained a well-guarded secret during the film's release. The studio organized nationwide contests, prompting moviegoers to guess the identity of the actress behind Annie Ross, keeping the audience engaged in solving the mystery. This cinematic piece, apart from its compelling narrative adjustments and directorial finesse, holds a unique place in history. It clinched the distinction of being the first to secure Best Director honors at both the Academy Awards and the Directors Guild of America Awards, underscoring Joseph L. Mankiewicz's remarkable prowess. The film's recognition as a part of the esteemed list and the inclusion of Paul Douglas in the cast for his inaugural feature film contribute to the multifaceted legacy of A Letter to Three Wives. Following the production of A Letter to Three Wives, Anne Southern faced a health setback, contracting infectious hepatitis after an impure serum shot in England. Despite her illness, she continued working on the Macy radio program from her bed, sharing later that the experience restored her faith. Notably, this film stands as the lone nominee for the Academy Award for Best Picture, featuring the legendary Kirk Douglas. His presence adds to the movie's distinction, showcasing a noteworthy early appearance by the renowned character actress Thelma Ritter. In her usual wisecracking style, Ritter delivers a superb performance, contributing to the film's overall impact. These behind-the-scenes elements further enrich the narrative of A Letter to Three Wives, providing insights into the challenges faced by the cast and the unique contributions of iconic actors like Kirk Douglas and Thelma Ritter. Such details add layers to the film's legacy, making it a noteworthy piece in cinematic history. Based on John Klintner's novel, A Letter to Five Wives, the 1949 film underwent changes, losing two wives in the transition. The script's initial treatments by Melville Baker and Dorothy Bennett laid the foundation, with Baker suggesting the off-screen presence of character Addie, a concept not credited in the final film. Celeste Holm, initially uninterested, played a crucial role as the off-screen voice, a persuasion by director Joseph L. Mankiewicz. The film marked Paul Douglas's feature film debut and included a mysterious voiceover by Holm, prompting audience engagement in solving the identity mystery. Post-production, Anne Southern faced health setbacks but continued work, attributing her recovery to the Macy radio program. Kirk Douglas's lone Best Picture nomination and Thelma Ritter's impactful performance added depth to the film's legacy, showcasing challenges faced by the cast. In 1998, the American Film Institute recognized its enduring impact, solidifying a letter to three wives as a classic, ultimately clinching Best Director honors at both the Academy Awards and the Directors Guild of America Awards. In a pivotal scene around one hour and 16 minutes into the film, director Joseph L. Mankiewicz achieved Linda Darnell's expression of derision by using a photo of Otto Preminger, who had previously posed challenges for Darnell during the filming of Forever Amber. Notably, a behind-the-scenes romance blossomed between Linda Darnell and director Joseph L. Mankiewicz during the production. Darnell considered Mankiewicz to be the great love of her life, though he chose not to leave his wife, describing her as a marvelous girl with terrifying personal problems. Adding a personal touch to the narrative, the character played by Kirk Douglas was based on Joseph L. Mankiewicz's own father, providing a familial connection to the storyline. These intimate details of on-set dynamics and personal connections add depth to the overall narrative of the film, underscoring the complexities faced by the cast and crew. Such nuances contribute to the unique charm of this cinematic piece, making it a compelling exploration of relationships and emotions on and off screen.